S.Y. Lau is a dynamic figure on the digital media landscape. In his adopted country of China, he has helped make the internet and mobile technology available to millions of new users. At the same time, he has cultivated a business philosophy based on empathy and mutual understanding. For SY, true success happens when our evolving communication platforms bring down barriers and create lasting connections. I always have this concept that the world that we're living in today, it doesn't quite belong to us. We, we are just caretaking this world. For whom? For the generations of the future. I came from a very, very uh, simple family background in Malaysia in the back in the 70s and the 80s. It, it was tough then, yeah. Standards of living wasn't easy and um, nothing was to be taken for granted in that sense. So with that kind of environment, it kind of brings the, the desire of within a person to, to improvise, to move on, uh, to not stay behind. If you were to look at that, the, the characteristic I would call actually moving away from your comfort zone. So coming from Malaysia to China was moving away from a comfort zone. Then when I landed in China, my immediate phase of my specialties was within the world of advertising and marketing. This was back into the turn of the century. Uh, the, the influence of the internet wasn't that, that hugely felt in China. I thought mm, I needed to start acquiring myself with some skill sets that could be relevant into the future. It was important for me to find a respectable professional institution that has the right framework. And a Rutgers came along. If one wanted to be successful in their career, uh, one has to have the open mindset to embrace diversity. Rutgers stood for diversity. Uh, that keyword itself uh, really, really appealed a lot to me because I know that I would therefore be embraced within the study environment where my ideas would be cherished for the substance of it, uh, but not for where I came from. One of the biggest learning ideas that I had from Rutgers' experience was you don't know what you don't know. I think for, for a business leader in the future, you, you must first admit this. You must almost first put this as your first gatekeeper in your mind. It basically means one has to have a, a mindset that's really open. You have to grow your wisdom, your leadership capabilities to garner the positive energies of every single one of the core workers that work with you. I think every one of us ought to look at our legacy as to how have we empowered others to success? How do we actually help others along the way? In other words, the success that you earn today, it doesn't really belong to you. You are just a caretaker of a mission. Embrace the connotations of being a global citizen understand the responsibility that comes along with it. So how do you do that? Um, you start by collaborating, start by uh, uh, reaching out to one another. You might be living in New Jersey, you might be living in New Delhi, but we are all living in a connected world. <laughs>